Hi there, let's take a look at AnyType's Study Hub experience. I have the AnyType app open and one thing I want to cover before we get into the Study Hub is that I've been showing you how to use multiple spaces to download the experiences and you can't delete your original space so it can get confusing if you try to uh, have a lot of spaces which one was the original so I'm actually just going to change this one to original the default name is actually your username when you signed up for the account for the first space that you have and then um, any spaces you download from the experiences will have the name of that experience okay go to the help menu and select any experience gallery that will open up in a browser and we're going to look for the study hub which is here. All right, click that open an app button and I'm gonna close out of this browser and maximize the AnyType app. I selected the dropdown so I can put it in a new space and it's importing and at the bottom you can select go to space. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is I want to have the study hub be the landing page when I open the app. So go up to the settings for the space in the top left corner and you can change the home page. So I've changed it to the study hub set. Click on the spaces. I'm gonna just switch over to my original space really quick. And now if I click on the study hub, the initial page is actually the study hub set that I change to be the home page. Okay, now here I want to just clean up my side widgets for a minute. And now I'm going to edit the cover image on this page. So click on the cover, change cover, and Unsplash has free stock photos you can use. I'm gonna actually use a Hogwarts example for this video. So this one looks good. And the images take up a lot of space. You'll have to like reposition them a little bit to get them where you want. But just know whatever the image size is from Unsplash, you can't change it unless you download it and crop it yourself. All right, I changed the icon to some books. So there's something in here already, and if I open it up, it looks like this. So it's mostly blank. It has a lecture topic somewhere in there linked. And I actually want to edit the template. So the template is just the pre-formatted object that you're using, and it's right here. If you edit it, you need to go to the three dots and select Edit Template. Okay, so now that I'm in the template, I'm gonna open this up into full page view and let's just remove the cover because I don't really want this cover on all of my courses. And I don't want an icon yet, I just wanna pick that once I start entering each course. Now here you'll see different relations and if you click on the triangle in the top right you can also see the same relations so anything that has a star next to it shows up under the the object of description so you can see if you unclick the star it moves down to the bottom and it removes it from this area here so let's look at that one that one says enter text so i think that one's actually department. So if you unstar that, you'll see that it removed the relation from this top area. This is a subheading, and these are all subheadings, and then this here is a simple table. I actually don't want all this stuff here because I can't tell what it is. <laughs> so. I want to put it in the content portion of my page. So to do that, you're going to put your cursor here, select backslash and start typing relations. 
and then you can see everything that's already added on here and I want to put the department and I'm also going to put the type backslash to find relations again and I want the professor name and then I also want days of the week that this course is happening. And here to make it useful for online classes I'm going to add a relation called URL and you can put in the direct link to your online class here. Uh, one more thing I want to do is put in a divider so put backslash div and you'll see line divider and that looks good. I'm going to get rid of this space right here, just select delete, everything else looks fine. Okay, so this was a template, so let me go back to the actual study hub set. And down here, okay, so now I've edited this template, and when it has the yellow around it, it means that's the default, so anything you create from the new button will have that template. So you can see now it's got course name and you, let's open this and it has all the new relations that I added earlier. Now this one you can see still has the old relations so when you make a new template it's only going to affect new things that you make not already existing objects. I actually don't want to call this department. I want to change this and call this course code. So let's edit the, the name of this relation. So right click and let's call this course code instead of department and save and then let's look at our template. Edit template and it did change from department to course code, so that's great. Um, so whatever I enter here, I know will be in the template for the next object I make. All right, so here, if you wanna enter, just click on the pencil icon, otherwise it will open in the new screen. And I'm gonna call this one Flying Lessons. Let's name this one Fly 100 and professor. So right now this is connected to human objects and so far the only object is me. So I'm just going to start typing the name of the new professor that I want and underneath you here you want to select create new object. All right uh, let's fill this out. Let's get three credits. I'm going to move this. Sorry let me move this over so we can see the full name. And then days of the week, this one just uses tags so you can have more than one choice in here. Um, so just start typing and select create new option here at the bottom. So I've selected three different ones and if you want to change the color you actually have to X out of it so that it's in the drop down and then you can change the color here on there but then you have to put it back again. <laughs> so all right this looks good. And I'm actually going to delete this example course since we already edited the template. Now I'm just going to speed through this section where I'm adding two more courses, Herbology and Potions, and I'm adding the associated relations as well. All right, now that I have all three courses, I'm going to add a new view. And instead of a grid, I want to use the gallery view. This is a card view. And to make it more visual, I'm going to add a cover image and icon to all of these. So open up flying lessons and above the title of the object, you can find the cover icon and I'm selecting unsplash. The best images are actually ones that have something in the middle. If you pick images that have stuff at the top and bottom, it's not going to look that great. 
Okay, so again, I'm going to speed through this section. I'm picking images for um, herbology and potions class, and also little icons too. Now that I have all three of those, I want to edit some of the information on the card. So go to settings and then relations. And then here you can just change the toggle to hide or show whatever you want on here. So now I just have the object, the professor, and the days of the week. Now what I want to do is open up the potions page and let's make it full screen. This experience has a table in it and they linked to the lecture notes in the table. And the lecture notes is an actual object type and it also has a template associated with it. So you can do this by selecting the at symbol and you can link to anything that's already existing. But if you want to make something new, just type the title of the new lecture. And then at the bottom of this menu, you'll see the plus sign create object potions and then whatever the title is. So select that. And now it's linked in this table. So now when you open it, the only problem here is that it's a note, so you still have to choose lecture notes as the object and you have to choose the template if you wanted the pre-filled out um, form. So now if I go to this column, it's called assignments. You could do the same thing, but you have to use the at symbol and then start typing the name of whatever assignment you want to make. So I'm calling this Read Potions Chapter 1 and on the menu select plus create new object. And again, here it doesn't even show task in my menu at the top. So you have to go to my types, select task, and now it has that little box with the check mark on it. And it also shows up here on the left side under widgets. This set is actually a set of called my assignments, but they're all tasks. So let's um, go back to potions page. This little box is not a relation. It's just part of the layout of a task. So you, if you check that box, um, you won't see it here if you start adding relations. Sorry, I clicked too many times. Okay. Here, on, I'm on the My Assignments set, and to make it more useful, I'm going to add a due date. So look for a due date. Um, I actually I assigned one already to that other one. And today's due date, today's date is um, January 8th when I'm recording. So I put that in, and let's actually make another view and make this layout into a calendar. So now that I have the calendar view, you need to change these, this group by to due date. Okay, so now it looks correct. So now read potions, I put it as a due date of January 8th and assignment one was a due date of January 10th. 